Pastor Zillinger's Daily Devotions. Psalm 117. Praise the Lord, all nations. Extol him, all peoples. For great is his steadfast love toward us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord. Psalm 117 is the shortest psalm, and it's actually a wonderful psalm to memorize. Uh, to put in your memory, it's only two verses for things. Um, it is a hymn or a piece of music uh, for things in the Old Testament, and also for us uh, as Christians, too, in God's book. Um, the interesting thing about this psalm is it talks about the world. Uh, Praise the Lord, all nations, extol him, all peoples. Um, this psalm is quoted or used uh, by the Jewish nation, even at the time of Christ. It's called the Hallel. There's six psalms that are together, and they use them during festivals. And I can imagine this, uh, people using this and singing this at the time of Passover. That's one of the festivals where they will do this. Now, they'll do the whole psalm of this because it's fairly short. Um, it's part of their liturgy. But imagine when people are singing this, they're saying all the world, all the nations, all the foreigners, all the peoples praise the Lord because as great as his steadfast love towards us, we are the children of God and other people should recognize we're the children of God by God's steadfast love and faithfulness to us. So we retell the story. That's what happens in the Exodus in Passover. So they would retell the story and look what God has done for us. Look at his wonders, look at his miracles, and look forward to the day when he's going to do this again, when he does this again. That's what the Jewish people would do. Well, this is centered in Christ, that all nations and all peoples can come to the Lord because of Christ. It's not just about a genetic heritage. It's about the Lord's steadfast love and faithfulness to humanity, to all people. And it first comes to Israel, but then it goes out to the nations. That's what Jesus does in the Great Commission. So we do as Christians and what we're supposed to be doing every day, that we praise the Lord and we show people God's steadfast love in what he's shown us, his faithfulness. And we say, look, look what God has done for us in Christ. Look what his mighty wonders. Look what he's done for us presently. Look what he's done for us in the past. Look at our God. He's not only saved us, but he's also saved you. This is for you as well. We want to give you this good news, this gospel message. The Lord bless your day as well as your week.